only reason why they came together because Russia was a major force, a major military power. So, you know, if France went up against Russia, Russia would destroy France because of, its, because of Russia's military might. So they came up with this alliance in your old dictionaries, but in, in the modern definition doesn't doesn't say that. Anyway, it says I'll read it. It says uh, NATO, NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and I did videos before on this topic, also called the North Atlantic Alliance. Is an intergovernmental mili military alliance. They got together for military reasons between 28 European countries. Now, the scriptures say, uh, speaks about the 10 and the 7, right? Uh, but there were nations added to it. But all these nations, there's a thing called balkanization. When you go to these various nations, they were part of other bigger nations that broke off. Even some of these nations that were a part of uh, uh, Russia, the USSR, through a thing called balkanization, they broke off and they made alliances with other nations. And you're going to see that. It says, uh, it says, uh, is an intergovernmental military alliance between 28 European, European meaning Edomites. There are no dark nations that are part of um, NATO, and for that matter, the EU. China, Hong Kong, Korea, Japan, Nigeria, the Sudan, None of these nations are part of NATO or the EU because th these nations, these this alliances are only European nations, which is in Europe. But there's two nations that are part of NATO that are on the other side of the world, which are which is Canada and America. Why is that? Because those are Edomite nations. Great Britain colonized the thirteen um, well, thirteen colonies were set up by Great Britain. And Canada, if you've ever been to Canada, you'll see the money on the money. You'll, you'll see the queen on the money because Canada is nothing but a province. It's nothing but a province of uh, a Great Britain. 